Frequently we have Thompson, we have customers looking to replace a worn ball screw assembly, but they don't know what kind of assembly they have. I will show you how to identify your existing ball screw assembly. Ball screw assemblies come in metric and inch lines. By looking at the return system between the two, you can determine whether you have a metric or an inch ball screw assembly. For metric, the return system is entirely internal. For inch, the return system uses tubes. So for looking for tubes on your ball nuts, you should be able to determine whether you have a metric or an inch series ball screw. Ball screws are designated by their ball circle diameter and their lead. To measure the ball circle diameter, take a mic or caliper, and as shown here, measure the outer diameter of your screw. The outer diameter of your screw will be slightly smaller than the ball circle diameter, but by taking this measurement, you should be able to figure out what size screw you have. For the lead, we need to determine whether or not we have a one, a two, or a four start screw. By taking a piece of string and wrapping it around the screw, ensuring it stays in the same groove as it goes around, you should be able to determine whether you have a one, a two, or a four start screw. On a one start screw, the strings will be adjacent to each other as they wrap around the screw. In a two start screw, you'll see a gap of one between the strings. And in a four start screw, you'll see a gap of three between the strings. To measure the lead, take your caliper, and measure from the center of one string to the center of an adjacent string, and this will tell you your lead. The designation between inch and metric series differs. So if you have an inch screw and you have a one inch diameter screw, for example, and you have a quarter inch lead, that'll tell you you have a 1004 ball screw assembly. If you had a half inch screw with a half inch lead, that'll tell you you have an 0502 ball screw assembly. For the metrics, if you have a 12 millimeter diameter screw and a three millimeter lead, you have a 12 by three ball screw assembly. So with these couple measurements, you can determine what kind of ball screw assembly you have.